Good Wednesday evening, Southeast Texas. Hope you're doing well. Looking at a few thunder showers up in the lakes should be done by about 8 o'clock this evening. Otherwise, we're going to be seeing a hotter, drier summer weather pattern as we head towards Thursday, Friday and Saturday. High temperatures mid 90s as we head on into Sunday and the first half of next week. Lower afternoon high temperatures, but higher rain chances expected because of a number of factors, including a cold front that's going to be stalling, influx of tropical moisture, and a series of upper level disturbances. So there's your widely scattered evening showers, thunder showers up in the lakes area through about 8 p.m. dissipating. We'll see skies become mostly clear, and temperatures should drop into the lower to mid 70s in the lakes, mid to upper 70s to near 80 in the triangle. Tomorrow, Let's see, Futurecast is going to show maybe a couple of showers over the area. Yeah, not much. So we're going to go with nothing, and I'll show you why right now. Hottest part of the day, 2 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. We're looking at the battery power in the atmosphere. It drives thunderstorms to develop. Look at the lack of instability. Nothing. Let's take a look at, uh, say, Friday. Nothing. Hard to make showers and thunderstorms when you don't have instability. Then as we head towards Saturday, eh, most of the area, nothing. So that's why I'm going to go with no rain coming up over the next few days. However that changes, look what happens. We'll be watching a front near our area. Moisture will pull in off the Gulf of Mexico ahead of that front. So we'll have plenty to work with. So I think there's a real good chance we'll see some potentially locally heavy rainfall as we head on in towards Sunday, Monday, really the first half of next week. Oh my, peak of hurricane season. We have got four areas we continue to monitor. First area is off the southeast coast, not an issue for us. There is a low chance that this could turn into a depression as it heads towards the Carolina coast. And as we were talking about yesterday, very sure, very confident this will become Sally. Where is Sally going to go? Too early to know. Modeling shows there's a potential it could recur. Some of the modeling shows it could continue to move west. At this point, it's not even off the coast of Africa, so it's just too early to know uh, with any certainty at this point. We need to watch it, though, because of the potential. Otherwise, Paulette, a non-issue, and so is Renee, non-issue for the Gulf of Mexico. So again, out of the four, we need to watch this one coming off the west coast of Africa because there is the potential it could reach the Gulf, but that is low at this time. And there's every bit of potential that it could recurve like Paulette and Renee. And that's our big hope as we head on through the next several days watching this closely. On the Gulf of Mexico for tomorrow, looking at slightly choppy seas around 1 to 2 feet in your coastal marine forecast. We'll see an easterly wind at 5 to 10 knots, water temperature 87 degrees. Our forecast tonight, mainly up in the lakes, could see some thunder showers, otherwise becoming mostly clear, warm and humid. Lows will drop into the lower and middle 70s lakes to the mid to upper 70s to your 80 in the triangle. Then tomorrow may see a slight chance of showers and storms in the lakes. Again, this is going to be a stretch. High temperatures, low to mid 90s. And then for Friday and Saturday, basically hot, dry weather conditions. Normally, our highs are around 90. So as you can see, we'll be about 5 to 6 degrees above that. Then Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday of next week, wet weather will return. Now, we may have some surprises where it's higher rain chances and lower chances as we uh, work through the next uh, several days. That's the name of the game. However, at this point, it does look like we will see enhanced rainfall and cooler afternoon high temperatures. But at this point, the next seven days looks tropically quiet for our area. Download our app, follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and as always, there's more weather at 12newsnow.com.